the next common condition which you see in pediatric age group is The next common condition which we see in pediatric age group is club foot. Club foot is also called as congenital talipus equino varus. Club foot is also called as congenital talipus equino varus. It is common in oligohydromnias. If your mother is suffering from oligohydramnios, this condition is seen in the, the babies will have this condition, oligohydramnios. If the child is suffering from neural tube defect, if the child is suffering from neural tube defect, he can have this condition. If the, there is a twin pregnancy, if there is a twin pregnancy, then there is a chance for this condition. So what does club foot mean by? Club foot is called as congenital talipus equino virus. So if you want to understand this, you should understand the deformities in the foot. You should understand the deformities in the foot. Okay. So as I told you already in the yesterday's class, talipus means foot. Okay, talipus means foot. The so foot goes in for this moment. This is called as plantar flexion. The foot goes in for this moment, this is called as dorsi flexion. This is called as dorsi flexion. If you walk on your toes, if you walk on your toes, this is called as equinus deformity. It is like a heart, heart means equinus. Usually, a heart walks on the tip of their toes. So, if you walk like this, this is called as equinus deformity. If you walk on your heel, this is called as calcaneus deformity. It's called as calcaneus deformity. So, in the foot, if I get equinus, that is called as salipus equinus. That is called as Salipus equinus. It means the ankle and the foot goes like this. This is for one deformity in the foot. So talipus means foot, equinus means the foot goes like this. Plantar flexion. Now, where the plantar flexion happens? Plantar flexion happens at the ankle joint. Plantar flexion happens at the ankle joint. Now, next deformity is talipus equino varus deformity. What is called as varus deformity? Virus deformity involves two main components in it. One is adduction component, another one is inversion component. What is called as an inversion component? This also is very good. This is my medial side of the foot. If I lift the medial side of the foot, this is called as inversion. When the medial side of the foot is off the ground, when I lift the medial side of the foot away from the ground, it is called as inversion. If I lift the lateral side of the foot, this is called as inversion. This is called as inversion. When the forefoot, I can't show it, when the forefoot turns towards the midline, that is called as adduction. When the forefoot turns away from the midline, that is called as abduction. That is called as abduction. Okay, so if this condition will have equinovirus deformity. Equinovirus deformity. So we will see what are the components in it. So this child will have deformity with the mnemonic cave. So C stands for cavus. What is called as cavus again? Let us consider this is my foot. Okay, there is a small arch below the foot. If you see, there is a small gap below the foot. That is normal. If the gap is too much, this is called as cavus. If the gap is no, this is called as planus. Okay, so if there is too much of gap, it is like a cave, we call it as cavus. If it is flat, we call it as planus. So this child will have cavus deformity. The foot will be highly arched. So a high arch is noted in the foot. The child will have adduction in the forefoot. The child will have adduction in the forefoot or tarsometatarsal joints. Or tarsometatarsal joints. There will be varus in the subtalar joints. There will be varus in the subtalar joint. There will be varus in the subtalar joint. And there will be equinus at the ankle. There will be equinus at the ankle. There will be equinus at the ankle. Okay. So these are the deformities which will be seen in a child with a club foot. There are two types of club foot. One is called a partial club foot. 
another one is called as an structural club foot how you differentiate a postural club foot from a structural club foot very simple let us consider this is the foot of the side okay this is the leg of the side okay foot and leg this is the foot of the side and this is the leg of the side this is the dorsum of the foot this is the plantar aspect of the foot our foot or main pogi pair dorsum of the foot nu solluvom foot or keel pogi pair plantar aspect of the foot okay. in a child if you do dorsi flexion in a child if you do dorsi flexion the dorsum of the foot will touch the leg this is called as dorsi flexion test what is this test called as dorsi flexion test you can't do it in your foot if you do dorsi flexion of the foot in the child the dorsum of the foot will touch the leg if that is there then the foot is normal okay so the postural club foot and structural club foot can be differentiated by dorsi flexion test where the dorsi flexion test cannot be done in structural club foot dorsi flexion does not don't happen here don't happen dorsi flexion test does not occur in structural club foot that is how you differentiate a postural club foot from a structural club foot okay this test is very very simple test but it can effectively tell you whether it is an uh, structural club foot or a postural club foot okay now i want you to understand the foot the foot is in varus like this okay there is equinus and there is varus like this the side foot will be like this now just think from this deformity and tell me there are structures on the posterior side there are structures on the medial side and the structures on the lateral side okay there are structures all around the ankle joint You got posterior structures, you got medial structures, and you got lateral structures. So the foot is like this. Which structures will be shortened? Foot or the bicep muscle? Medial side has the structure shorten, or more lateral side has the structure shorten. Yeah, you know, medial side has the shorter. So under the structure side, now it will go in for shortening. Also, when the ankle is like this, the posterior structure also shorten. So what are the structures which are present in the posterior part of the ankle? The structure which is present in the posterior part of the ankle is posterior part of the ankle. The structure which is present is tendon Achilles. Achilles tendon, the name is tendon Achilles. That is the structure which is present in the posterior part of the foot. And there are ligaments on the medial side of the foot. There are ligaments on the medial side of the foot. so these structures will get shortened these structures will get shortened okay these structures will get shortened there is also there is a ligament called as spring ligament on the medial side which gets shortened spring ligament which is on the medial side will get shortened okay spring ligament on the medial side will be shortened so i'm just drawing a picture of a child with a club foot so the foot will be like this so this is the medial side and this is the lateral side so medial side lateral side medial side is shortened and the lateral side is lengthened and the lateral side is lengthened okay clear so the medial side is shortened and the lateral side is lengthened so if we see the child foot the child will have more creases on the medial side creases na theriyumla nammalo kaiyila irukkala code code what are these are these are the creases in a similar way you have got creases in the foot also those creases will be increased on the medial side so increase the creases on the medial side on medial side which will be noted in this children's it will be noted in this children's now once you diagnose club foot how are you going to treat the club foot treatment should be started as early as possible as early as possible the treatment will be started in first week of birth in first week of birth itself treatment will be started and if the child is diagnosed very early in the first week itself the child can be treated with a cast called as ponsetti method of cast ponsetti method of cast ponsetti method of pop cast okay so using this method you can correct this condition up to 1 year of age up to 1 year you can put the child in ponsetti cast and you can correct it 
quantity method is a method to apply the cost okay nothing but it is a method to apply the cost so it is a conservative way you apply pop to the child this pop cost will be changed every week this pop cost will be changed every week and up to 8 weeks the cost will be applied the first deformity to be corrected is adduction deformity adduction deformity is first corrected first corrected is adduction deformity followed by varus deformity is corrected followed by equinus deformity is corrected so the deformity has to be corrected properly first adduction deformity is corrected next varus deformity is corrected next equinus deformity is corrected so this sequential correction is done by a person called as poncetti that person method is called as poncetti method that person's method is called as poncetti method after you correct the child foot the deformity should not recur so you put the child in a splint called as dennis brown splint you put the child in a splint called as dennis brown splint you put the child in a splint called as dennis brown splint okay dennis brown splint So this splint is called as Dennis Brown splint. Okay. So after you correct the child with the splint, this is called as Dennis Brown splint. The cast which is seen here, you can see the how the cast is applied, how the foot is. Can you able to see the foot here? how the foot is the foot is rotated medially yeah so this is called as club foot and they are gradually correcting the club foot like this so this sequential method of correction by applying pop is called as poncetti method of correction is called as poncetti method of correction okay clear so now you treat the patient like this but uh, by 3 uh, years a child is coming to you with a club foot by 3 years a child is coming to you with a club foot before that they have missed the club foot and the child was moving like that when they come by 3 years or more than 2 years you cannot treat the child with poncetti method pop will not help at that time you require surgery so if you want to do surgery first is soft tissue release first is soft tissue release now you tell me where are the tissues the tissues are short on an anterior side or posterior side posterior side so this requires a release called as postero medial soft tissue release so this is called as postero medial soft tissue release postero medial soft tissue release is done in club foot if the child is presented around the age of 3 years If the child is presenting to you after this age, you have to do osteotomy. You have to do osteotomy like Dwan's procedure, like Dwan's procedure to correct the deformity, or you can use fixators like Elizaro fixators or just fixators to correct the deformity. If the child is presenting in a later age group, around some ten years of age group. So Elizaro and just fixed set are usually applied after 10 years of age group to correct the deformity. If the deformity is identified early, if the deformity is corrected early, this condition can be treated easily with cast. If the child is presenting to you in a late manner, after three years, then their child will land up in surgery. The surgeries will be either soft tissue release or bony correction or bony correction. Soft tissue release, which is done here, is postero medial soft tissue release. because in the foot is like this the medial and the posterior soft tissues gets contracted you release it to correct the deformity okay clear so this is about club foot or talipus equino varus deformity so we'll be moving to the next part of pediatric orthopedics
that is tom smith arthritis tom smith arthritis tom smith arthritis very simple the infection of infection of joint is called as septic arthritis infection of joint is called as septic arthritis infection of joint is called as septic arthritis septic arthritis is an emergency condition once you diagnose septic arthritis joint should be debrided joint should be debrided at the earliest joint should be debrided at the earliest otherwise within 6 hours joint can get destroyed by bacterial enzymes joint can get destroyed by bacterial enzymes within 6 hours joint can get destroyed by enzymes such a destruction such a destruction of hip in infant by infection is called as septic arthritis of hip also called as tom smith arthritis also called as tom smith arthritis so in an infant if septic arthritis occurs it will destroy the head very rapidly when the head is destroyed then that condition is called as tom smith arthritis just imagine this is the acetabulum and uh, this is the head of the femur in the child and if the head is destroyed rapidly like this now what happens to the hip joint it will be stable or it will be unstable it will be unstable the hip will become unstable the hip will become unstable the child will not be able to bear weight on the side will not be able to bear weight on the side bear weight on the side okay in this condition telescopy test will be positive telescopy test will be positive and the range of movements will be increased range of movements will be increased it is not restricted but it will be increased it will be increased so this is about tom smith arthritis so you should just know what is called as tom smith arthritis septic arthritis of infants is called as tom smith arthritis it is called as tom smith arthritis okay so this is about the uh, uh, various uh, important topics from pediatrics so we will go into the next topic